wildflowers. Try not to trample them. All right, this is at least some kind of trail. Oh, beautiful, we did it. Made it. Wow. Woo! Well, I don't know how high I'm gonna go. I'm trying to I'm trying to trace this up all the way up to its source. But it's also 326. Oh, there's the motorway up there. Alright, I'm going up to that motorway for sure. I think that's the brand motorway. For the most of this, there was kind of a sort of a path, but that's gone now. I hit a pretty big fork, and I took the I took the right fork. Whatever trail was there ended, or they they didn't or weren't able to continue it, or it got washed out. It might have got washed out actually. That's definitely. Well, in the summer, I bet this just is the trail, you know? Because uh, most, most of the time, this 90, 98% of the time, this has like no water in it, so. Whew. Whew. Pretty good falls coming up. I don't know if I can hike around them. Because uh, that was it, but yeah, I'm kind of stuck. I just gotta go. I just gotta get uh. I just gotta get all scratched up and go through here. It's the only uh viable route here. Uh, it's not even. It's not as bad as it looked actually. This was definitely easier at some point before all this stuff washed into here. <laughs> okay, made it. At this point, I've pretty much committed myself to uh, linking up with the brand motorway because I can't really go back down the way I've come or I could but it would be like this day the day would stop being fun if I had to do that there we go so many waterfalls though this is great I don't think I've ever been on a hike where I've climbed over this many waterfalls. Oh, slimy. <sighs> Dense. Dense through here. Cool. It's never as bad as it looks once you start going through. I do feel a little bit bad for trampling some of this some of this stuff. But it gets knocked down anyways. Alright, I finally decided I'm gonna wuss out and check my phone map. Oh no, no, never mind, never mind. Look, power lines. Whew, I, I was that close to checking the map. I look up, boom, power lines. So yeah, I'm just gonna beeline for those power lines and then, 
I don't know. I don't know. I could go to the park. Keep following this. Go to the power lines. Keep following it. Keep follow. I'm gonna keep following the. Keep following the river. Now that I, now that I see that I'm not far from a road, yeah, follow this a little more. Yeah, I should have took that out when I had it. It looks cool up there, especially I see like an oak tree up there that looks really nice. Can't really see it. This nice palm. I think I'm gonna get to the top of this ridge and try to get try to get the hell out of here. Okay, so I did screw up a little because uh, the road is behind that power line. You can't see it really. Maybe you can. You can kind of see the road cut. Um, and now I'm up on a ridge between two little canyons. And there's a lot of rough terrain between me and that road. So I'm just going to get up to here, basically, follow this ridge and then see what I can see from up there. Hopefully I can just get up there and drop down onto the road. Whew. Getting kind of scraped up. But. Ooh, that's what I signed up for. Here we go. This is definitely the sketchier part of the day. <laughs> Gotta be careful, probably won't film a lot. A lot until I get to the road. But beautiful waterfall over here. I wish I had the drone. I could get some, some money shots of that. All right. I'm properly up on the ridge now. And I can see if I had kept following that creek. <sighs> Would not have been good. Would have been an endless, pretty endless ordeal. Ooh. So now I'm just heading up this ridge. Shooting for somewhere around this power this power line thing and I mean roads right there I just can't get to it yet Whew. all right made it to the top of this peak little peak and the roads right there so I just got a little more bushwhacking to do and I'm home free I've been following these mule deer trails. There's the poop. For like the last 20, 15, 20 minutes I've been... If it wasn't for this mule deer trail, this would... This ridge would be completely impassable because this is just dense chaparral up here and it's like shredding up my legs. Ooh. But the deer have made it at least possible, you know. Like, look at this. How did I get through here? Come on. Wow. 
Cool. <laughs> Touch and go there for for a little bit. But yeah, that was fun. Now I got a now I got a long, way more boring hike back to the car. And it's only like 4.10, so five minutes before my turnaround alarm was set for. So here we go. Bye.